U.S. Treasury Department will provide stable coins to the SEC. The collaboration between Rarible and Adobe is designed to protect NFT creators. FCA UK has granted registration to the crypto startup Crypterium. Tesla can still pay with Bitcoin? Helium is partnering with Dish Network to expand the 5G crypto-based distributed platform. Now let's dive to the details. U.S. Treasury Department will provide stable coins to the SEC. The President's Working Group on Financial Markets reported that the U.S. Treasury Department would give the SEC authority over stable coins. Following the developments, we will discuss them further in our latest crypto news. Earlier this year, questions surfaced about the growing importance of Tether and the rest of the stable coins in the crypto industry. Janet Yellen, U.S. Treasury Secretary, met with financial regulators to find out and develop a game plan for regulating these asset classes. It looks like the meeting took place because the U.S. Treasury Department will authorize the SEC to regulate stablecoins like USDC and Tether, and even the CFTC will have a role to play here. The powers will be explained in a report that will be released earlier this week. According to Bloomberg, the SEC Chairman, Gary Gensler, has lobbied Yellen and other working group members to give the country's top securities regulator more authority in setting and enforcing stablecoin policies. The report calls Congress to create a separate banking charter for stablecoin issuers whose digital currencies are backed by tangible assets in the drafting phase. Given the political divisions, Gensler would like to clarify that the SEC currently has the authority to monitor these tokens as they participate in transactions. Gensler and Fed Chairman Jerome Powell have stated that centralized stablecoins are similar to and managed as money market funds, which the SEC would scrutinize. The collaboration between Rarible and Adobe is designed to protect NFT creators. Software giant Adobe is trying to make it easier for non-fungible token makers or NFT makers to prove that they are the artists behind their work by linking social media profiles and crypto wallet addresses. 26, the NFT marketplace Rarible announced that it wanted to enter into a partnership with Adobe that would enable token creators to reveal the content credentials of software companies to verify the authenticity of the content. According to Adobe, the feature can add NFT creator wallet addresses and social networking information to the content credentials metadata of tokens listed on Rarible, helping combat misinformation created through an attribution and verifiable truth. As a member of Adobe's content validation initiative alongside the BBC, Getty Images, Microsoft, and Nikon, Rarible still seems to have the option for NFT creators to keep a pseudonym and choose to view the content in complete real-world social media profiles. FCA UK has granted registration to the crypto startup Crypterium. The UK crypto service provider Crypterium is the latest company to secure registration with the UK FCA. Crypterium officially announced that the FCA recently registered it to provide crypto services to local citizens and businesses as it was one of the few companies to pass the registration process. According to data on the official FCA website, Crypterium is registered to operate a range of crypto asset operations while complying with the country's AML regulations. Crypterium has authorized the subscription to continue providing crypto wallet services, including payment and cryptocurrency trading services, to everyone in the UK, as stated in the announcement. Registration is essential given the upcoming Brexit measures, which will allow Crypterium to provide UK businesses with the same functionality as other supporting countries. According to the announcement, the crypto wallet app has been available in more than 170 countries and has 400,000 customers since its launch. Crypterium CEO Stephen Parker said, Becoming an FCA registered company is a great opportunity. From now on, prospective customers will see Crypterium in a new light, a company that puts security and usability first. Not only do we offer an excellent range of services, but we can now show that they are carried out in full compliance with some of the strictest assessment criteria. Tesla can still pay with Bitcoin? 
In the digital assets section of the report, the company confirmed that it bought approximately $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin at the end of the quarter. The report also mentions that Tesla will accept Bitcoin payments until March, but has suspended operations instead of Bitcoin's unsustainable nature. Tesla, owned by Musk, is back to basics, however, when Bitcoin has outperformed since the Bitcoin ETF was launched in the US. In the nine months ended September 30th, 2021, we purchased a total of $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. In addition, for the three months ending March 31st, 2021, we have accepted Bitcoin as a payment for the sale of some of our products in certain regions, subject to applicable laws and the temporary suspension of this activity in May 2021. In the future, we can continue our trading practice in cryptocurrencies, digital assets, for our products and services. Helium is partnering with Dish Network to expand the 5G crypto-based distributed platform. The Helium goal of any crypto project is to achieve widespread adoption by providing a use case that offers real value that can be applied worldwide and in every home. One project that has just made a significant step forward thanks to a user-controlled wireless network is Helium, a project focused on the Internet of Things 5G that will unveil a new partnership for Dish Network on October 26th. Today, we take another critical step for 5G by announcing a new partnership between Food and Helium Inc. Dish is the first primary service provider to join the People's Network, expand coverage with customers providing 5G hotspots. According to the announcement, this partnership will give Dish Network subscribers the ability to operate Helium nodes and earn HNT token rewards for sharing their 5G radio services with people close to them. This is the first primary carrier to integrate the Helium 5G network into its ecosystem and is a significant sign of validating the project and its technology. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the CoinQ channel to stay up to date on the latest news.